Hello guys, it's PV to Max here, and we are back with a, another Tech It Legends episode. However, today is going to be a little bit different. We're actually starting a new series. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, in this series, we are actually going to be showing off some pretty cool things, and today is going to be a Logitech storage system in Tech It Legends, and today we're using barrels. Currently, I've not found a way to use chests to be able to see into them and put them back because of the method that I'm using. Um, which we will show you that in a second. Let me actually grab a wrench that we have one for later. Um, so here we go. So let's get a couple stacks of marble. There we go. We got it. There we go. Okay, so now we realize that we really don't need the marble. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna kinda shove it back. And there it goes, into the thing. And what we have done here is optimize it so while you're requesting items, it makes it super easy. That way items don't get jammed and it's not trying to like search all the inventories all at once. And it makes it really easy. So, with this, we have actually made this in a really simple design. I broke the wrong block. Okay. Let's just go like that. So, in this, we just have a basic pipe, and this is a provider pipe that provides, that doesn't have anything, so that way it just pulls all ways out of the chest. Uh, so, we're going to leave that. <coughs> and then back here... Uh, this one's actually not done. Uh, in these, we have Mark MK's. Oh my god, go away. We actually have some Mark 3's, uh, but you don't actually need Mark 3's. You can use Mark 2's, um, but that's just what we grabbed. We have a provider module and a active supply module, so that way we can pull out of them. Um, in these, you want to uh, put the item. So in both of them, you have to put the item. And it is especially important that the active supply module that you put it into infinite. But it is not infinite, then it will not actually work. It's like part of Logitech that it just won't. So that is pretty simple, guys. Um, we can show you the actual piping to everything. Um, so we actually just have the piping running down through here it comes up goes through the wall and connects right there and again these are just some simple um mark three chassis connected to a barrel and you just have like this one is the redstone box so you want them for the provider just to put the redstone block in the active module you're gonna just want a block of redstone if you guys want an in-depth tutorial of how to actually build this and not just a quick little guide then by all means post it down in the comments we will show you a quick dirty version of this um this is pretty much as quick as it gets it's super simple to build uh, this could be any chest it doesn't even have to be this type of chest if i was grabbing alchemy chest personally i'd probably use an alchemy chest just because well in this texture pack it looks better and two you can open it while it's under so we have 38 let's see if this sends it we should go to 39 and there you go as you guys saw it left the chest and went into there and that is 39 so if you guys would like to see more tutorials such as this, we have plenty more planned and we have tons of rooms to fill up. If you guys want to see a specific thing, please, 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 please tell us what you want to see and we will actually make it happen. If you guys want to see a large scale version of this, this is what we're doing. I'm currently still trying to figure out how to use chests for this um, and it, there will be an update video. Currently, we only have it working for blocks, but as you can see, it's just the same thing. You just go here, you request, and it's just Mark 3s with the 
items in for what it is. Uh, I've been working. I've been working on getting it to actually work for that. But there, we got a one marble. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial of a sorting. Again, if you want to see this in action, you can go check out our Hillside Gaming Ticket series. Um, if you're in Chris's channel, hop over to my channel to see the first episode. After the first episode, you'll actually see it. The first episode of his version got corrupt, so just come on over. If you're on my channel, make sure to go check out Chris's channel. He's great. He will be in the collabs for that. It's going to be awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and uh, peace out.